Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the three bin stackable storage cubby. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown at the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For step one, you need part A, the right side, two of part B, the middles, you need part G, the bottom, six of the L plastic inserts, and six of the I large screws. So first what I'm going to be doing is putting on the right panel. Now we're going to connect this right panel to the bottom. When looking at this bottom board here, you're going to see that there's this groove here. This groove is really important to make sure that any of these panels that you put into place need to have this groove lined up really nicely for a later step. We're also going to start by putting in the two screws on this side, which is going to hold this right panel into place. So now looking at the right panel, you'll see it has the same groove. So when I put this panel in, I need to make sure that this groove is continuous going through. So before you tighten these screws from the underside, you need to make sure that this groove is lined up as best as you can get it and then tighten the screws. Now we're also going to be putting in plastic inserts into these holes that you'll see here. This is so when you screw from the underside, the screws have something to go into to hold those screws into place. Now these plastic inserts you'll see on one side have a Phillips screw head marking. You want this to be pointing outward so you can see it so that that way if you don't have these holes perfectly lined up you can use a Phillips screwdriver to turn them to adjust them so the screw can go through it nicely. We're going to want the hole in the side of the plastic insert to line up with where the hole is going to be for the screw going through there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these plastic inserts into place and again if you need to you can take a Phillips head screwdriver to turn them a little bit to make sure that they're lined up with the hole going this way. I'm going to put these two holes then lining up with these two bottom holes here again making sure that this groove is consistent all the way through. So I'm going to tip this up on its side here. Now we're going to be putting two screws from the underside going through the bottom board, through the right panel, and into that plastic insert that you've put into place. So for this demonstration I am going to be using a drill. Also feel free to use a drill as well. Just make sure you have the torque setting set on low so you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So I'm going to screw from the bottom here and tighten these screws into place going through that right panel. Next we're going to put the two middle panels into place. Now these two middle panels you'll notice do not have the groove. That's because when they're put into place they should actually be in front of the groove and so then that way they don't need to align with it. It'll just kind of be in front of. You're going to notice these same markings as well for those plastic inserts that need to go into place. So again, wanting that Phillips head screwdriver mark to be facing outward so you can adjust them if needed. Having that hole line up with where that screw is going to be going through. And we're going to push these into place. And then again, we're going to be putting the screws from the underside going through this middle panel here. And we'll get these screwed into place. I'm going to repeat the same thing with this other middle panel, putting in those same two plastic inserts and then screwing from underneath to get these middle panels to hold into place. Also one thing to note with these middle panels, you are going to see a long side and a short side. You want the short side to line up with this short side um, facing towards the bottom board here. So the long side will be away from the bottom board, short side towards the bottom board. So that way it lines nicely just the way that the right side does as well. For step two, you need part C, the left panel, part E, the front panel, four of the L plastic inserts, 
four of the I screws and two of the J pegs. So first what we're going to be doing for this step is putting on the front panel. It's important you put this front panel on first before you put on the left panel because it's going to be sitting in between the right and the left panels. So what we're going to do is you're going to see these two holes on the side here. We're going to put a peg, a wooden peg, into this bottom one here. The top one is where a screw is going to be going through um, into a plastic insert. So you're going to see this hole here. So we're going to be putting this on and we're going to be screwing through that right side panel through this hole and into that plastic insert. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wooden peg into this bottom hole first and then I'm going to be putting on the plastic insert. So this hole in the plastic insert is lining up with the hole that the screw is going to go through. And then I put this down. I'm going to have this plastic insert facing towards the inside so you don't see it from the outside. And we're going to insert it into the two holes here on this right panel. So this bottom hole again is meant for the peg. The top hole is where we're going to be screwing through from the outside into this front panel here. So let's get that wooden peg in. And we're going to screw through the outside here. Next what we're going to be doing is putting on this left panel onto the side here. Essentially we're going to be repeating the same thing we did with that right panel where we're going to want to put two plastic inserts into these bottom um, holes here where we're going to be screwing from the underside to hold this into place. We're going to make sure that this groove is lined up with this groove on the bottom board here and then we're also going to have these two holes here, one of which is meant for the wooden peg through the front panel here and one which is meant for a screw that's going to go through here through this front panel. Well, so we'll need that plastic insert on the underside here. So first what I'm going to do is put all three of my plastic inserts into place so I have those ready to go. And then what we're going to be doing is lining it up, making sure that back groove lines up with that board there. So I'm going to tip this up like so. Also making sure you get that wooden peg into this bottom hole. We're going to insert that into the left panel here. Making sure that groove lines up at the back there. And then we're going to screw these screws into place. So two through the bottom, through the left panel, and then one through the left side into this front panel. For step three, you'll need part F, the back, part D, the front trim, and four of the K medium screws. So next what I'm going to be doing is putting in this back panel. Now remember, if you put these panels in correctly where this groove is continuous throughout the whole back here, then this panel should slide down into place pretty easily. Again, these middle panels have to be forward enough so that they're not into the grooves way, and then these need to line up nicely. Now in the case that they're not, you might have to tip it back up on its side, loosen the screws a little bit, adjust these panels, and then retighten them, just so that that groove is um, open for this panel to slide down into. So we're going to insert it on one side and then the other and slide it all the way down. Now it's important that we get this panel to go all the way down as far as it can along the whole groove. So next what we're going to be doing is putting the front trim onto the front of our toy cubby. Now when you look at the front trim, one side has these smaller holes which is going to be going towards the toy cubby. The larger holes will be to the outside where you're going to be screwing through into the holes in each of these panels. So there should be the four holes in the front trip will line up with the ones on the left, the two middle, and then the right. So let's use these screws that we have. I'm going to start on one side. I'll do the other side and then do the two middle ones. So let's get this screwed into place. For step four, you need part H, the top, 
you need eight of the plastic inserts, part L, and eight of the part I screws. So next what we're gonna be doing is putting the top of the toy cubby into place. Now we're gonna have eight screws that are gonna be going down into each of these panels. Now remember to hold those screws into place, we're gonna need those plastic inserts inserted into the side of each panel. So you should have two at the top of each panel so when the screws go down, they'll be held. So let's get all eight of these plastic inserts put into place. Then what we're gonna be doing is putting this top board on, onto the top. Now when you look at the underside of the top board, you should see a groove here. This groove needs to go along the back where this back panel is gonna insert into this groove. We're also gonna want the smaller screw holes facing down, same as the groove, where the indented ones will be facing upward. This is where the screws are gonna go through to each of these panels. So now when putting on this top board, you may have to move it around a little bit to try to get this back panel to go into that groove and make sure that it's securely down as far as it can, tight up against these panels. Once you know that it's completely down and that that back panel is into that groove, then we can screw all eight of the screws going down into those plastic inserts, into each panel. So let's get these all screwed into place. Step five is an optional step and can be used if you purchase multiple bins, which are sold separately, to attach them together for safety reasons. If so, please follow this step five completely. For this step, you'll need two of part M, which are the metal brackets, and four of part N, which are the small screws. So in this step, I'm gonna show you how to properly attach two cubbies together when you buy multiple bins. So now, what we wanna do is you'll want to find these two little holes in the back. This is from my top cubby, which you will see sitting on top here, and the bottom cubby. Now it's important when you put the top cubby on that you have these brackets to the outside of the upper edge so that this is, can't go left or right. Also, you're gonna pull this cubby back as far as you can because there's a lip in the front that'll keep this cubby from going back too far. So when it's back as far as it can and it's centered, then we're gonna want to put those brackets into place. Now these metal brackets should align with the hole on the top cubby and the hole on the bottom cubby, like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these small screws, one going into the very top hole and one going into the very bottom hole to hold these metal brackets into place. Now for this, I do have to use a little bit of a smaller screwdriver, a smaller one than I used in the previous steps, just because these screws are smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw in the top one and repeat the same thing for this bottom one. Then we're gonna repeat this whole step on the other side so that these cubbies are held into place on both sides in the back. And that concludes the assembly for the three bin stackable storage cubby. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.